country. What are you doing? I've got to get going. Come on. It's their own fault. What's their own fault? This mess. What, they fell in love, Mum? you never fallen in love before. Mate, you don't have to go. It's the only way. Yeah, we have no choice. Of course you do. How? Well, you're married, you maniac. You, you live together. It's all above board, for God's sake. Yeah, but they might not see it that you way. You don't know her, mate. Someone needs to speak to Tina. She's made her mind up and that's it. Look, you don't know that. She's devastated. I mean, who wouldn't be after Mom, the way you... could you just butt out of this, all right? All right. I will. Stay and fight it. It's too risky, mate. We've got to get a train to London tonight. This is mad. Sheen, come on. I can't. What? I can't do this to you, Graham. It's all my fault. No. No, I mean, I'm taking you away from the life you've made here and... Yeah, listen to her. Listen. Listen, yeah? I came here with nothing. Now I'm leaving with everything I need. Yeah? Now, come on, we've got to get going. Come on. Sorry. Oh, look at her. Granite chops. There's no need. Oh, I'm not bothered. Hey, come on, gangway. Sure. Sure, got to get to London um, Carla, yeah. I um, I need some time off work. Right, when? Well, this is it, you see. Um, tomorrow? What? And the day after? <laughs> I don't think so. Carla, just hear him out. I need to go to London to pick Dylan up because his mum's very poorly and... Can't somebody else pick him up? No, no, I, I've got to go and get him and bring him home so I can look after him. Right, well, I want extra out of you when you come back and you're going to have to take it as old as... Oh, thank you, boss, thank you. I'll clock off for you. You get off and get packing. OK. Hey, I am really sorry about before. Hey, oh, it's all right. <laughs> oh, Sean, it gets you right there, doesn't it? <laughs> Got me right there the other day. <laughs> Did he say anything after I left? Who? The treacherous one. Hey, Brian, who do you think? All oh, right, yeah. I've been keeping it in, but it was such a shock I seen him at yours. Oh, I need a drink just thinking about it. Do you want to join me for a quick? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. I've got a big hope up. Oh, please, Fizz, it'll do you good too. You've got to start facing up to folk. You can't keep hiding away. I'm not, am I? I think so. Come on. You need to show your face, and I need to talk. The door was open. I'm letting out the stink. What are you doing? I'm scrubbing them away. Have you phoned yet? Someone in the know. Thanks for reminding me. This is not the way of dealing with this. No, it's my way. Just listen to me, please. No, I've got to do something, OK? It's not fair what they did to me, Gail. It's not fair. No, I know. But what are you going to say, exactly? Come on. I'm calling to report a young married couple for being in love. Look at the two of them. What? You're going to turn the milk sour with those faces. Yeah. You're always picking and complaining and... Hi. Hiya. Well, at last, there you are. Take over, please. Thank you. I have something to say. You OK? Um... I don't really know how to say it. Spit it out! Tell it like it is, girl. Sophie? I, um, I can't work tonight. Oh, well, that's really excellent. You know, you could have warned us, Sof. Wait, there's more. What's up? I, um, I want to have my notice in. I'm really sorry. All right, so look, you're not only are you dumping us in it tonight, but you're leaving as well. I mean, what do you mean you want to hand in your notice? Dev, I'm really surprised, Sophie. This is not really fair. No, Sunita, I know it's not, and I am really, really sorry. <sighs> Well, at least you should tell us why. It's, um... It's this charity. <laughs> Seriously, Sunita, I want to be there all the time. If you could just see the work that we was doing. What did the girl say? She'd rather work in a DOS house than here. <laughs> what can I say? You've obviously made your mind up about this. That's where your heart lies. Yeah, it is. No, just wait just a minute, OK? We are not a charity, and it's a small matter of the wages I've advanced. Look, let's not worry about that for now. A what? She'll have to pay us back when she can. What else can we do? Thanks, Anita. Thank you. Yeah. I don't blame her. Me neither. I'm oh, sorry? Rats leaving a sinking ship springs to mind. What did she just say? Honey, what did she just say? Oh, I can't wait to see his little face again. 
to have him with me every day. Yeah, oh, it'd be great. Looking forward to having a little boy around the place. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah, we're going to do all sorts together. Really bond. What's up? Just packing to go and pick my Dylan up. A kid here? My name is Sean. Who's going to look after you? What do you mean by that? Uh, you're the biggest kid round here. Well, you do get one of them jazzy slings to, you know, take on the clubs you and that. Just shut it, you. Hey, you need to be a car now about getting a crest set up at uh, Underworld. Hey! I'm only joking. Why does he have to come in and spoil everything? Well, Sean, these are things you need to think about, mate. We'll work some it out. I can look after my own son, OK? Going to the cash machine. Sean, hang on. <sighs> You've upset him now. He's just getting touchy, man. But well, seriously, you need to think about it. This house is bursting at the seams. And about Rosie, eh? It's not fair on her having a kid running around. Look, I think it's wonderful what Sean is doing for his son. Wonderful. And if Flossie Webster didn't like it, she can stuff it. She knows where the door is. So is this really how you want it all to end? You reporting them? Them running away? You still in pain? I know you, Tina. You'll feel terrible later for what you've done. I'm just so angry. I know. What can I do with all this pain? Don't you forget that you were together in this. I know. What were you thinking of? Putting two people together like that. Oh, I didn't expect him to do this. I loved him. I really loved him. And he loved me. Gail, he, he took away that dark hole that my dad left when he went. This wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't the plan. You've got to pick yourself up. Got to. Do you hear me? Betrayal is one of the worst things to deal with. <laughs> Don't I know it? But revenge? Tina, that's not the best answer, believe me. I just hate him so much. No, you don't. Love just uh, doesn't turn itself off like that, does it? Love's hard at times. At times, it becomes about letting them go. Sometimes that's all that's left. Cheers. <laughs> Hiya, ma'am. Shall I get you a brandy for the shop? What's going on? Steve has offered me my job back. What? Why? Because I'm the best, maybe? Anyway, what's it to be? Glass of red? <laughs> oh, I remember us sitting here. Once we started talking, we couldn't believe it. Every subject, perfect match. I understand. No, I just have to accept that his wife was more important to him. Julie, I've got to tell you something. What? Oh, it's hard, this. I, I am so sorry. Oh, don't get upset. What is it? Me and John, we, um, we did it on purpose. We split you and Brian up. Ah, oh, Kevin. What do you make of it all, then? What? Sophie. I don't know what you're on about. Sophie's quit. Left us in the lurch. She handed in a notice earlier. What? It's a charity work. She wants to dedicate more time to it. As reasons go, it's not a bad one. Yeah, well, it's the first I've heard of it. I can't believe you and John did all that. Like I said, we had to, John said. Because he knew, you see, he knew John's secret about Colin and everything. We couldn't risk him being round here. But he went back to his wife. We forced him back. Made up lies about you. Oh, God, I'm sorry. It was a terrible thing to do. I am so, so sorry. I understand if you never want to speak to me again. No. No, Fizz, no. You were embroiled in something beyond your control. Do you know what? Thank you for the revelation. Everything's become clear at last. A love forbidden. Two hearts torn apart. His agony must have been as deep as mine. Well, it's a modern day tragedy of Shakespearean proportions. It's a backstreet Romeo and Juliet, don't you see? I think so. 
them. But listen, Julie, I'm sorry, I really have got to go. I'm already late for hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> You sure I can't change your mind? Sorry, mate, we've got to get going. Mrs. Mack. Tina. Tina's been thinking. No, I'll, I'll tell them, Gail. I'm, um... I'm not going to ring the immigration. Thank God. Thank you. Tina, thank you. Thank you so much. Right, I've got to go. I don't have to leave. So what are we going to do now? You all right? I just need to be on my own for a bit. Marcus, what if Jason's right? What if I don't step up to the mark? I mean, I've never had to look after him, look after him, if you know what I mean. We've never been together for that long. I mean, I love him, of course. Nobody could love their child more, but... Hey. hey. It's like Jason said, though. I mean, it's not just this, it's the... It's all the work, it's sure. all... There's so much to organise. You'll be fine. I just so want to do right by him. And you will. Prove him wrong. Prove Jason and anyone else you need to that you can do it. You're right. Yeah. I will. I've decided. What? I have to get hold of Brian. The thing is, I ceremoniously deleted all the numbers I had for him. Have you any way whatsoever of getting in touch with him, Fizz? No, no, I haven't. Oh. But I'll help you. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, I'd really like that. We'll track him down together, eh? Yes. Yes. It's the least I can do, isn't it? Especially as it's my fault you're apart. Don't worry yourself. A course of true love never ran smooth, did it? You rest assured, Fizz. If it is destined that we are to be together, then nothing in this world will keep us apart. The dog's home collect abandoned dogs. Mind your own business, you hear me? Reckless father's back. Just come to get us bags. The cab's waiting. Hey, listen, Sean, I'm sorry about what I said, mate. I didn't mean it. Well, maybe you didn't. But I'll tell you something. I'm going to take full responsibility for my child and I'm going to be the best father that I can be. Anyway, you've nothing to worry about because we're both going to be taking care of him together. Mm. Hey, come on. You best get going. You don't want to miss that train? Yeah, I'll get it, mate. No, I'm fine, thanks. No, I don't understand. It's all over now. You can stay. I can't do that to her, David. I saw the hurt in her eyes. I just pay my respects to Ash. There's things I learnt from him that I'll take me forever. Not just the butchering. No. He was one of the rare ones, was Ash. You know? A truly good man. Oh, lots of memories. And I've seen it from the vantage point, most never do. On the high, up there, on the ladder, looking down. What do you mean, you've seen Norris's bald spot? <laughs> oh no, mate, much more than that. You know, sometimes I'd just pause and I'd look down and I'd watch the people, their comings and goings, and you know what? From up there, it was kind of beautiful. You went on your own, you, pal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. This place took me in. Anyway. Better be going. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Why don't I buy your last pint? In the Rovers. 
Yeah, all right, go on. By the way, the rickshaw is yours. It's busy tonight. Mm, yeah, I think I made the right decision. What? Well, you know how much work goes into running this place. Plus, I've got street cars, too. What, you need some extra help? Need more than that, I need a bar manager. Well, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Mm, be a saving in the long run. What did I tell you? Sorry? Well, you're only looking at the next manager of the Rover's return. Well, Steve's offered you that. Well, it looks that way. Oh, I can't wait. There's going to be some changes round here. It's going to be the last beer together. Yeah, off to pastures and public houses and you. <laughs> oh, hi, love. Hi, taxi's here in five minutes. Cool. All right. Hi. Hi. Hi, Jack. Just got him down. On your own? Yes, on my own. Oh, I was only asking because you're out. Yeah, well, I managed. You had any tea? Not that hungry. Right, well, I'm just going to nip upstairs and I'm going to go and get myself somewhere. Oi, wait a minute. What? Have a good day at work, have you? So you do now? Yeah, so where have you been? I'm doing more with my life than selling conflicts and tea bags. Oh, that's that James talking, isn't it? No, it's not actually, because believe it or not, I have got a mind of my own. I wonder. So come on. Where have you been? Don't tell me you've been to that soup kitchen. Maybe. You're barred from working there, you know that. Well, you can't stop me. I can't believe you did this without telling me. Not only that, you give up a paying job to what? Work for nothing? It's not about the money, Dad. Because oh. money is not everything. OK? I'm a Christian. It's what we believe in, helping others. Oh, some might call it that. Some might call it gullible. You know what? Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you that needs to open your eyes and see the real world. You're all right here with your loads of money, but these people out there that have got nothing, Dad. And if I can help make a difference, then I will. When are you going, Greg? Um, now. Are you sure? Yes. It's the best way. Listen, um... Thanks for all you did, you know, with Tina and that. Well, knowing you has never been boring. Hmm. Well, <laughs> thanks, Mrs. Mack. Listen, you've been great to me over the years, and I remember that always, along with that vision back in the day when I used to stop at Shea Platt. Sorry? You in that blue dressing gown <laughs> and slippers. Oh, lovely. Hey, 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 are you flirting with my mum? <laughs> Leave the lad alone, I'm enjoying it. Excuse me, did, did I hear you say you were leaving? Yes, Nozza, my old mate. Yes, you did. Oh, well, well to, together, I presume. Yes, and your deductions are correct, as always, Mr Holmes. Oh, may I ask uh, where, where you're going to? Yes, you may, China. I thought it was London. <laughs> it is. China? Yeah, Sheen's friends, uncles, cousins, nephew, twice removed. He's a man of some substance in the corridors of power in Peking, and a... Uh, Wants us to move over there. In fact, he's fixed me up with a, a very attractive position. Well, 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 what has? The only Western window cleaner in the whole of the Forbidden City. <laughs> He's having me on. He's having me on, <laughs> isn't he? Oh, cab's here. Huh? Right, well, that's us. <laughs> he, he was having me on, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, bye. I'm gonna miss you, mate. Won't be the same without you, pal. <sighs> right then. To our one and all. See you all the best. Bye. 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 You take care. Bye. 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 Cheers, man. Someone wants to speak to you. I'll be sick. You, 
เรามากใช่นะแต่ก็ไม่เคยชอบคุณนะคุณช่วยชีวิตฉันครั้งแล้วคุณดูแลผมแบบที่ใครไม่เคยดูแลผมและคุณทำให้ฉันเจ็บแต่ใครไม่เคยดูแลผมใช่ไหมนั่นแล้วฉันจะจบแต่ฉันไม่อยากให้คุณรู้สึกผิดชอบฉันไม่ต้องการนั่นฉันอยากให้คุณได้รับชีวิตของฉันแค่อย่าลืมฉันนั่นแหละคุณไปSad day as Graham leaves the cobbles. Catch his farewell video online at itv.com/corey. There's no manual to tell you how to bring up six children, six babies, all born at once. We've got our own personalities. We're not one person. We are six people. Next, meet a truly extraordinary family. 